Hello. Hi, everybody. Happy Sunday. Um, we're going to wait for you guys to tune in and um, and then Julian should be coming in uh, shortly. Thank you, everybody, for for joining us today on your Sunday. Um, Fox TV is watching, so I'm going to try to be on my best behavior. Spoiler jail is, is wide open, so I got to be careful. <laughs> Um, even though I got to say Fox and Lone Star have been much more spoilery than, than I have with all this footage that they're releasing. So, you know, you can't, you can't completely blame me. All right. Mr. Julian. I see Mr. Julian. Uh, Jules, do you know how to join the thing? Let me pull up the questions. So many questions. You guys are awesome. Um, just, just endless. So thank you, everybody. Um, all right. Jules is saying, get me in. Well, listen, bro, you gotta, you gotta request to get in. Let's see. Oh, go live with Jules. Here we go. Where's that boy? Hey. hey. What's Let's, up, pal? Let's go. What is good? What's up, papi? How you doing, papi? What's up, papi? Juancho, how's your workout? Oh, so good, papa. Thank you so much. How you feeling this morning? What a beautiful day, bro. <laughs> Dude, I stayed up until 3 in the morning. Doing what? Watching. Watching the fights because I missed them live. Oh my god, what do you think? For, before we get into the questions, can you give me your thoughts real quick on that? Dude, it was heartbreaking, man. It was really hard to watch. I thought the, I thought, Lauren Murphy, I, I that that fight was just so violent, and she 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 could they could have stopped the fight so early, um, but she's just way too tough, and she would have never quit. I called Gilbert. I called Jessica Andrade. Gilbert is ready for somebody, bro. Um, oh, yeah. Who, who else? Um, uh, the Figgy fight, unfortunate, but, you know, Brandon looked super dominant. Brandon and, Moreno! That's right, dude. Let's go, Mexico! And then uh, watching Glover get pummeled like that was really tough to watch. Yeah. Um, but I love in the fifth round, he was like, let's go, fucking A. Yeah, that, that so, was so cool. Yeah, you know, especially because he probably knew he was going to retire if he loses. So I think, you know, you, you let him go out on his shield, as they say. Exactly. No, that. Yeah. No, I agree with you. Um, damn. So Which we live. Hey, huh? when, when was the last time you went on IG live, Ronin? For this. Honestly, I think the last time I went on IG live, just in general, was. I think when I hit two hundred thousand fans or, or 250 i like to i like to celebrate with the fans every time i hit a big milestone so yeah. i think yeah either uh, that or or it was with the band I, I don't remember but it's been it's been a while uh new music come in i remember Just, you talking about could i could i talk about how you were telling me how you how you you wrote a new song the other day on set and how you think it's going to be two fucking songs. amazing two songs two, two songs. songs in one day in the yeah. studio to set Let's go. Remember yeah. who's your road manager. Just remember that. Listen, we're going to change the entire game plan with you as manager. Bro, I got so many great ideas. Your <laughs> face, billboard, middle Hollywood. I got you, brother. That's okay. right, baby. All right, let's get it. Did they, did they give you a list, list of questions? Shaft. Did they give you a list of questions for us? Bro, endless. Oh, my God. <laughs> All right, uh, I'm sorry, ladies and gentlemen, but I'm gonna turn the commenting off just for this portion. Um, so for anybody that um, is screen recording, it could be a nice clear image. Um, oh, that's a good and idea. Then, and then, um, yeah, so now I can see Julian's beautiful face better. All right, 
First and foremost, how are you doing this Sunday? I'm doing great, bro. I'm so happy that we got better weather over here now. Sunny California, yay. The, ra the uh, rain was really, was really much needed, though. Yeah, no, for sure. Yeah, yeah. No, I agree. All right, I we're agree. gonna start off real simple. What has been your favorite episode to shoot so far this season? Um, so far this season, I mean, there's, there's a few. I mean, the one that I'm doing now is really fun. I don't want to get too many spoilers. Um, but um, oh, the oh, I, dude, TKO, uh, that rest. I mean, oh shit, did I almost give away something? No, I, I shared a picture of us. Okay, that TKO. Yeah, TKO rescue was they, so cool. They don't know what the rescue is, but they know we have a badass rescue together. You about to see the dynamic duo, baby. And how cool How cool is the name for that, guys? I mean, we got Tarlos. Then we got Mancy. And now we got TKO. Total knockout. TKO. <laughs> Let's go. That's what we are together. Total knockouts. Yeah, I think I think the episode that you're talking about right now is real special for you. I think it's for what I can say because you know I'm the spoiler king, so I can I can get a little crazy. It'll come out of your lips, not mine. I'm not going to jail for this. Fox is watching, so here we go. Just 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 handcuff me now. Yeah. Um, it's an episode. Let's just say this that we have never seen before done. Um, and it's also. I think character wise something we've never seen done on if I'm not mistaken both shows. So it's actually a pretty revolutionary episode if you ask me. And and the 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 face of, of that episode is Mr. Julian Works. So it's pretty it's pretty historic. Yeah, it's pretty cool. I feel so lucky, but honestly um I mean, yeah, so that's the one episode that I was talking about. And then the other one, like I said, TKO Rescue. And I know, oh, I know um, Tosh Marjan, she has two heavy episodes. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of, I mean, honestly, this, this season, there's, I mean, I feel like it's repetitive. But this season, I feel like it's, it's, it's a good season because each of us have our own little breakouts within the season, like our own episodes to carry. And that's what's so much fun of, uh, you know, really utilizing the whole ensemble cast. But, uh. I mean, yeah, it's, it's like big news. The, the I think more, I, the more I think episodes, the, the like more we get to explore. Is, is Tarlos getting married? Like that's, I think that's the real big question. Like, yeah, remember we we shot the wedding and then we shot that episode where they get divorced. Remember we already shot that. I'm just kidding. Oh <laughs> my god! <laughs> you almost I broke the internet that, right now. I thought you were gonna oh play god. along. I thought you. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna play along with me. That did not land at all. <laughs> Everything I just said is totally not real. But <laughs> that's it. Uh, People probably just fainted. Yeah. So what's but, what, are, what are your favorite episodes though? I answered that once, not certain answer. I got one, two, three, and and four with a big circle around it, and then I think episode eight, which is our fiftieth episode. Um, 50 oh my god we made it to be the big 5-0 how episode 8 cool. is, is the big it's the big 50 and I'm, I'm really excited about that especially because I think there's going to be a lot of answers um, regarding uh, Owen and TK I think a lot of answers that people have been craving yeah and and um, myself as a viewer and myself as, as TK I think it, it's going to answer a lot of questions and I think patch a lot of things up that people I think I, I, you know, I've shared the frustration with fans last season because um, Owen and TK sort of seem to go like this because they both have very intense personal lives, you know, and they yeah. can't always be there for each other. Yeah. Um, but I think the 50th episode will, will sort of patch things up and, and give people, I think, some comfort that, that was much needed. And it's a beautiful scene with me and Rob, so I'm really, really excited about that. Well, it's um, the, I, I like that our dynamic within you guys, though, because like you're because you're you're battling with your journey of, you know, fighting addiction. And then on top of that, it's like, you know, almost trying to let you be a man yeah, with, with, be with my own man, be your own man with Carlos. And then you guys are settling in. It's like, at what point? Did, uh, what what is overstepping? When when can a dad really step yeah. in and, and be a dad at, at, you know, at a certain point, you know, but um, it's, and he's it's not technically be... my captain anymore. You know, right. I think, right. I think right. it's very much like we're we're both maturing in our own sort of ways and yeah. you know but 
but trust me, they know that the the O and T K relationship. They is know, special. they know, they know. Yeah, got they the realest on the rise. <laughs> Uh, I even gave him a chance. To, all right. <laughs> so here we go. <laughs> um, here we go. Uh, here's a great question. I'm I'm actually very curious. Why are you so handsome? I, uh, I think you've been probably uh, asking yourself that for decades, right? Yeah. Um, if you're calling me handsome, yeah, you better hand some of that booty over. No, I'm joking. Um, I think, uh, I gotta give a credit to my parents. You know what I'm saying? Uh, no, yeah. I mean, good jeans. Good jeans, baby. Good, good jeans. <laughs> Let's see. Um, I feel like I have to answer this. What is your favorite Tarlos moment? Um, they are sprinkled all over this season. I'm not even exaggerating. Like you can one, two, three, four. Oh yeah. Eight, 10. There's about to be some crazy shit in 12. Here here comes my... I can literally uh, bro, hear the, I want the to choppers. Brody, do you want to get this live shut off right now by Fox, bro? <laughs> I just have like a red beam on my face. It's like Fox snipers. Uh, <laughs> so, yeah, just expect a lot of it. I, I, I don't think I'm exaggerating when I... And you could probably agree with me because you actually read the scripts. Um, probably the most... Tarlos overall we've had oh so for far. sure yeah for sure for some sure. real real shining moments for our boy carlos this season well speaking of tarlos uh, i want to throw in a quick shout out congratulations glad nomination let's go baby three years in a row that's how we Thank do you, it glad um i was gonna bring um jess as my date but i you know i think julian might have to priorities you know uh I mean, yeah. she's just my wife. It's like, so? <laughs> but you're like my fucking brother, dude. Yeah. Like your work wife. Wait, what? Wait, whoa. Wait, whoa. Wait, whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa. Listen, people aren't supposed to know about that. Wait, whoa. <laughs> now that's a spoiler. <laughs> um, oh, here's a good one. Um, will we see more Mancy moments? And what has been some of your favorite Mancy moments so far? No, for sure. I think um, so. I mean, obviously, like in the beginning of a relationship, it's always like lovey dovey, you know, cuddle and, and good times. But I think I think this season, it's a uh, there's there's a there's a good um, a good throw and a good toss up of drama between us. Mm -hmm. um, just to, to show, you know, because it's not it's not always it's not always great when you're dealing with someone that you like you know what i'm saying like you got to go through yeah. bumps, bumps and bruises so um I'm, I'm really excited to see you know how, how 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 it plays out and what we do um but man but man she's stronger than ever shout out my my baby girl rihanna rihanna my baby girl you guys are you guys are my, amazing together that's man. my tall shorty you feel me <laughs> i love i love they showed the clip of um where's that really serious moment where owen is giving us a speech and you guys reach over and, and hold hands it was so sweet that's my boo when we started when we were younger. Even though each take, I would like, when you would reach out boo. for Nancy, I would try to pull your arm down. But I don't yeah. think they kept that take. Oh, yeah. Right. Yeah. 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 TK yeah. really likes Mateo, you know? It's like, it's like his one of his best friends. It's like, bro, yeah, bro. It's like a bromance, bro. Yeah. It's the bromance everyone wanted. Right. Exactly. Favorite scene partner. Ooh, Ooh, that's a good one. Not to put I anybody on the spot. I think my favorite scene partner would have to be Buttercup. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I, I mean, you know, I'm probably biased. It's, you know, it's, it's my main man, Raphael. Oh, yeah. Um, but again, like, there's some really special stuff, I think, with everybody this season. Um, but it's just, you know, it's who I work with the most. How about you? Yeah. It's me, right? Yeah, for sure. And actually, remember, remember, we were talking about this actually the other day on set. Like, what would I say about who my favorite scene partner is? <laughs> well, I don't want to. I don't want to say. Yeah. Here's the moment. Now, yeah. Uh, 
no yeah i mean i i love yeah like i said i it's it's more like scene partners i always love when it's like the i love when i have scenes with rihanna of course like mancy but yeah. i also love like when it's like the one two six crew um because we have a lot fun, of like, like awesome group Band I love I too. love those family scenes, bro. I love when it's all of us because that's what it, that's like the foundation of our show when we're all together yeah. and we're really a unit. We're really a family. So and that's I love what a riot like, house is like, you know. Exactly. So th those are my favorite scenes. My favorite scene partners is when it's all of us really together because it just feels so, you know, like we're hanging out. It doesn't even feel like you're working. It just feels so good when we're all together. There's a lot of great banter scenes, like around the kitchen island, around the dining table. I, I mean, you guys always have them, like in the fire trucks and stuff. Yeah, you know, I'm not but even when we have, even when we're sitting in the dining table and we're having like our big brunch and our lunch and stuff like that, yeah. can't forget. Yeah, like I love that scene um, last season when um, uh, Carlos is coming in on his lunch break for the chili and and uh, Paul's making that chili and I'm like, oh hey, do you like corn chips? And I'm trying to avoid the conversation with Nancy, but we're all there. You know what I'm saying? Like those are always yeah. fun when we're all there at the firehouse. Yeah, and and uh, yep, a hundred percent. Uh, will there be more scenes between Mateo and TK? We, like I said before, we have, in my opinion, one of the sickest rescues. Sick. Sickest. Yeah, it is sure. like TKO, full blast. Actually, it might be our first official TKO rescue. I think that's where TKO was born. I'm pre yeah. I'm pre that's Scott White's episode. And I think that's episode seven? Six? I think so. Yeah. I don't know. I, it's such a blur, to be honest. I I um I I don't even know what episode we're on right now. Right. <laughs> um, <laughs> let's see. Let's see. Oh, great question. Um, does Matteo have a favorite film? He's always referencing movies, so I thought I'd ask. Uh, does Matteo have a favorite film? Yeah. Uh, it's uh, Smiley Face Killers. Yeah, there's a there's this there's a scene in Smiley Face Killers that he watches continuously. Um, it's uh, the main character. Uh, yeah. He he reveals his buttocks. Um, mm. I don't, it's it's a great scene. I mean, honestly, that's shout out Smiley Face Killers. It's a great movie. I've heard about that scene. Yeah, yeah you should watch it. It's a great movie. So it's um, there's there's a lot of uh, assets to be shown. Yes, I heard there's some really good assets in that yeah, movie. Yeah, um, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> Um, <laughs> oh, speaking of assets, um, I, I wanted to ask you personally, as Ronan, um, if you could talk some more about what it was like shooting your film this past summer, because your boy stays busy. Oh, yeah. Thank you so much. I, um, it, it was it was such a blast. I mean, I don't want to I don't I don't want to take away from what we're doing right now on 911 Lone Star, but that hiatus film was was a good a good experience for me to do something like different, and um, I, I feel so happy about it. I can't wait for it to be released. Um, and um, I mean, honestly, we got such a, a an all star cast where we all could be busy on every hiatus. I mean, everyone's working, and um, yeah, it's a great movie about a golf story about you know a young Latino you know basically playing the game of golf in the 1950s where golf Damn. was primarily dominated um by you know by by a certain coach by a certain race and and he comes in and and just starts winning tournaments and, and changes the game so um i can't wait for everyone to you know see it uh, it should be coming out you know in the middle of this year for sure hey um, and uh yeah it's, it's gonna be good thank you i'm your plus you. one to the premiere of course brother of course We've established thank that right now of course thank you for that plug-in of course bro let's see Ooh, what is the most physically challenging stunt you've done on the show so far? Um, so I would say, I mean, there's there's stuff that we're, you know, we're working on the ladder truck, and I don't want to give away too much, but, like, you know, you're really high up, and then we're, like, trying to, like, bring someone down on – on a you know on on a on a bed on the ladder truck and it's just like the weight with all the you know on my back and all that stuff so that's always that's always a challenge physically but um uh but but yeah I mean it's, we really do a combination it's always like something different that did you say okay. wait did you say carrying the show on your back is really difficult <laughs> what did you say <laughs> sorry I didn't hear that no. <laughs> Oh, no, you mean the equipment? The equitment, the equipment, oh. bro. Come on, bro. Yeah, what the heck? That says like, dude, yeah. season no, four is already bro. going to his head. Okay. No. Hey, but actually, the TKO rescue was was kind of was kind of gnarly because it was I gnarly. Mean, 
well, you showed the picture. I mean, we had, you know, there's a moving, there's a moving fire truck. It's a moving fire truck, and we're definitely like in real life having to be aware of a real person's safety. Oh yeah, for sure. That's we got, what we can say because it was. Yeah, and it like it let us like adapt in real time. And, yeah. Um, we our instincts were very good. I, I'm I'm excited. I can't wait to see what that looks like, man. Oh yeah, oh yeah. We got Jules Cruz and Roro Reeves. That's right, baby. Um, I, I would I would have to say my my most difficult was the ice rescue because um, crawling on that fake ice with fake snow blowing into your face and then actually chipping away at real oh, you're talking ice. Oh, from last season? Yeah, uh -huh. bro. Chipping yeah. away at real ice with um, yeah. um, a laryngoscope, which yeah. should not be used for chipping ice. My hands were so beat up and bruised. Um, and, and you would you know, and and you would think I like doing something like that because they they always offer stunt doubles, but Roro was like, "Hell no, bro! I'm doing that myself. What the heck?" No, every time I fell in the water, props. every time I yeah, all that stuff underwater. Like, luckily it was in a heated pool, but man, it was it was gnarly because again, like I have to make sure I wrap it around a real human being and then get them out of the water. It's it's right. uh. Luckily, they're stump people, but it, it's, um, yeah, that was really intense, man. And it really, again, it puts you, I love stunts because it's, you're not really acting anymore. You're like in it and your body well, doesn't know when you're doing acting, the physical so action, like, that's, yeah. that's all the acting you need. If you're doing the job, you know, you got a job to do. Yeah. That's it right and there. Yeah. It's like, as Ronan, my objective is to get this person out of the water so that so we don't drown. And also, that's TK's objective. You know, it's really, I love that shit, man. We we have some really cool stuff. I'm and I, I, I got I gotta say, Roro, you're way more athletic than than I thought. I'm sorry. Like I, I saw you doing that, and then on top of that, like, you know, we sometimes we play catch with the football when we're like you know chilling on on the side of set. You know, you actually play. But I think what really like made me you know, establishing my head that Roro's an athlete is we got a basketball scene and uh Roro could ball. I'll go on that. Roro, Roro could ball for sure. Bro, the little scoop? Yeah. Yeah. Bro, I played sports my whole life. Come on. Yeah, yeah. I'll give I'll give you that. You can ball for sure. Starting point guard and was about to be starting quarterback and then I had to pick acting instead. Why would you do that? Acting? Oh my God. What a waste of time, right? You, you're never going to make it. Just like a five eleven quarterback in the NFL, it's totally doable. Yeah. <laughs> I mean six three. Yeah, 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 yeah. Five eleven, come on. <laughs> uh, yeah, there's and and then there is one of the sickest rescues this season for TK. I can't even. I can't even talk about that. And then even, but even Mars got a sick rescue too. Coming down the harness says that she coming down from a helicopter. Woo! That was sick. in the helicopter with her, man. That that yeah. shit was so fun. Yeah, that was so good. And then, and then of course, you know, we got, you know, our captain Rob. He's he's literally Tom Cruise of network TV. Like he's he's doing so many cool, especially the first three episodes. You really get to see. Like I, I give him props, man. He's he's uh, he, he's continually continually doing it, still doing it. And he's killing it, you know, even better than ever. So shout out the captain. Yeah. Shout he's out the captain tough, to make it happen, baby. Sh shout out Gina, your captain, Gina. Oh my gosh, she. When whenever Everybody's we're doing like a crazy operation, stuff. like our crazy scene, like the crazy scenes when someone's like you know, cut up with blood and spewing out. Uh, you, Gina, Brianna, y'all, the just like the the language that you got to use as an EMT, you know, have that in your head while you're actually while like, doing all the connecting the IVs. Tools. I'm like. Sometimes I'm just like staring at you, and I'm like, "God, like this is this is amazing." So, yeah, mad props. I'm giving yeah. you, giving you, giving y'all y'all flowers now because y'all deserve it. Yeah, it, it's pretty. It's definitely like th there's like the difficult parts of firefighting is different than um, than EMT. paramedic stuff, but yeah, they're like yeah. equally so complicated. Right, you know I mean? right, right, right. Um, TK and Gabriel working together, episode four one of the sickest episodes man i watched that whole fucking episode it feels like a like a fx episode it's wild yeah we got real crazy on that one. Oh yeah oh yeah um let's see oh yeah <laughs> <laughs> uh 
How bad, how bad, how bad. A lot of these questions are just silly. <laughs> um, hold on, hold on. Ooh, you have any favorite lines of Mateo? Uh, Mateo always has some funny shit, man. Yeah, I, honestly, like, I'm, I do have, I, I'm just so, like, uh, just because we've been working a lot, I'm so caught up with this episode that I, like, I, nothing comes to me, like, right away, but I do have a lot of good lines, like, a lot of good okay. lines. Well, lines. actually, but I would say from uh, last season, like, one of my favorite dramatic lines <laughs> is when I'm, I'm still working up at the other firehouse, and then Paul's oh. locked in that house, and it's like, you know, you know, we say, what are you doing? It's like, yeah, I, uh, you know, I, I may be, you know, part of this crew, but Paul's my family. I, I would feel yeah. like that. That's that was like a, a big line for me for sure. That was a great episode for you, bro. Yeah. Um. Hey, Brian. A... Brian texts me right now. Can we get Brian on this live, or is that too many people? How do we do that? I don't know. How do we do that? Ooh, Hold on. I'm gonna I'm gonna finish a couple my questions. Boy saying my teeth looking good. Yeah, I got that shout out Invisalign. You know, gotta um gotta get those things weird... straightened out. Here's a weird question. Will we ever meet Mateo's cousin? I mean, how do you even do that? I know, right? I mean, my, Mateo's cousin. Maybe I could play. Maybe I could, What was his name again? Uh, Marvin. Maybe I could play him. I could see that. We could, uh, yeah, give you, give you some pink hair. Give you a tan. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Um, ooh, here's a question. Is the height difference with Nancy still going to be an issue for Mateo? I think I think now I think now Mateo's like after that episode where Nancy kind of like said, Look, this does not matter to me, so it shouldn't matter to you. So I think now at this point Mateo's like, you know what? That's my that's my girl. That's my shorty, my tall shorty. And if she's happy yeah. with me, I'm happy too. That's so, right, baby. Because at the end of the day, when it's time to get coffee, it's it's always satisfying. So that's all that matters. That's all that matters. Fuego. You feel me? Oh, dude, here's a sweet question. I actually don't know this answer for you. Um, where were you both when you learned you landed your roles? Ooh. Ooh. So I was I was I was coming back from Toronto. I was working on another show. And literally the day after I came back, um, I, I think is when I, when I found out. Because I remember landing at the airport and, um, and just kind of like, you know, because, you know, as, a, as an actor, it's like, you know, you're very grateful for the job and opportunities you get. But once you're finished with one job, yeah. in your head, you're always kind of figuring out, okay, what am I going to do next? What am I going to do next? So I just remember like coming home and you know finishing one job and it's like okay what's my next job and uh i think i was in the car driving and i got a call from my manager joe shout out joe best manager in the whole wide world love you joe um told me like hey you know they you know you got the part and uh usually in, in in the process when you're getting cast or something uh there's usually like a screen test and uh we did no screen test we went straight we went straight to episode one baby um so I think uh, I think I think the producers knew what they had in their hands when when they cast all of us because uh, there was no doubts really. And then um, and all, after that, you know, four seasons later, here we are, baby, number one show on network TV, about to take over your Tuesdays. You know how we do it. Tuesday at eight p.m., baby. Don't how do you forget feel about that. By the way, the, the the move we went from Monday to Tuesday. How do you feel about that? Uh, I'm kind of excited that we get our own uh, day of the week. Yeah, you know, I think it's pretty badass that like nine one one will run Mondays, will run Tuesdays, and then you know the TKO spinoff will maybe be on like uh, Wednesdays or Thursdays. Oh, there we go. Yeah, um, I I I was at home when I got the when I got the call. I I kind of knew I got the part for a little while. Um, oh yeah, because you got to you you actually. I mean, what was that like? So I'm. I'm coming in being casted straight from the casting director, and then a week later we're shooting. You were casted a little bit before, and you actually got to see. Yeah, the I was cast for like. It was like me and Rob for like 
three weeks without anybody else on the show and we sort of were like what like what what are what are, what are we gonna do who else is on the show right. but I, I think i think my favorite moment is it's a very hollywood moment we were i was at arclight when it was still open at the dome watching once upon a time in hollywood with my two best friends wow and you Wait, know it's what? Your two what? Yeah. Two, two, two uh, like, decent friends. Okay. Um, and, and it was literally Brad and Leo, my two favorite actors, and my phone the entire movie was blowing up. Like, it just wouldn't stop buzzing. And I was, I was like, I'm not leaving this movie to answer this phone call. I'm sorry. It's my two favorite actors together. This might never happen again. Um, it's also, like, one of the most iconic theaters in Los Angeles. Anyways, we get out of the theater. I have like 40 missed calls from my agent. And I call them back. They're like, dude, where have you been? We have a, a chemistry read offer for you and Rob Lowe. Um, like, I don't know, the next day or two days from now. Wow. And um, I later on found out that after my very first audition, they didn't have any other options. So I tested by myself. I chem I chemistry read by myself. There was never a, a plan B. They were fully Hell. they were fully invested. <laughs> Once they see Roro, ain't no other place to go. Let's come on. Kidding me? Ain't no place to go go. Let's go. <laughs> yeah, I, I um I, I'm very, very close friends with Eric Suye, our casting director. Actually getting dinner with him tonight. Um, oh, that's so great. Yeah, I love Eric. He he, he told me that when I left the room he turn to his assistant he's like that's tk oh and it's God. it's i literally just got goosebumps on the back of my neck but it's like it's you always hear these like hollywood casting stories and sometimes the casting director just knows and that's why casting is so important and that's why we need auditions in person back you need to be back on that casting couch no I'm, saying, no, I'm saying like when you're cast. Yeah, no, yeah. Yeah, there's, there's always a couch, right? Yeah. 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 But this, this, this Zoom auditioning. Yeah. Um, I luckily haven't had to do it because we are very blessed right now. But I, I, uh, I, I hope that's not the world that we're living in um, in the next couple of years because that shit sucks. And there's nothing like feeling someone out in a room, getting direction in a room meeting a director or producer. Filling right someone out there. on the casting couch, really getting to see like what they're about. Yeah, no, for sure. That's a whole different vibe, a whole different energy. No, I hear you. Somebody wrote, it's not even a question. Somebody wrote poopy butt. Poopy butt. Have you ever had, honestly, be real. Have you ever had a poopy butt before? <sighs> Give me a poopy butt story. Everyone, come on. I know you've had a poopy butt. It's middle school. What happened? What happened? Dude, so you're like 13 well, and you gave yourself poopy butt. Let me guess. It's a little too embarrassing for uh, <laughs> 1,100 people watching right now. <laughs> but listen, it happens to the best of us. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, last weekend. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, ooh, what will a not pro be like? life look like for Mateo? Well, Mateo will always be a pro B in my eyes. Yeah, I, yeah you know what? I, I, I'm willing to accept that just because, you know, the, the one two six crew, you know, including, you know, you guys, the EMS, like, yeah, you guys saw Mateo as a pro B. And I think once you grow up with someone and you see them start off as a pro B, they're always a pro B in your eyes. So I, I can accept that. Dude, not but, for nothing, you were like a captain for like uh, an episode. I mean, bro, they're the greatest captain of all time. I retired my hat. I'm the greatest captain of all time. Yeah, you're like, man, I'm just way too good at this. I should just stop now. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah. Um, let's see. Ooh, someone said, will I be able to see you in Paris this summer? Um, Ooh, voulez-vous coucher avec moi ce soir? You know, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna break any news right now. Oh wait, that's that's actually like a possibility. We. We? We, we, we? I mean, that's, that's what they say, right? We? We. Like we? me and you are like, yes. Like, no, like, like we. Like we? Going to Perry? I mean. We, we? I mean, I think 
you know. Yeah, yeah. Having, having Matteo in Paris could be cool. Have your people call my people. <laughs> um, ooh, if there's one character, I actually answered this a couple days ago. If there's one character you could switch with, if you could be any other character on the show, who would you be? My, my answer for four seasons now has been Grace. I would want to be... TK. I would, yeah, I would want to be you. See what that's like. See what that's like on the EMT side. See, see what that bond's like with Carlos. It's a beautiful bond. <laughs> I mean, Carlos, baby. <laughs> It's a good bond. Or maybe, or actually, maybe I would want to be Carlos. Ooh. Oh, yo, but, hey, whoa, hey, yo, whoa, chill, bro, chill, chill, bro, chill. Hey, yo, pause. Just, we're just hypothetically speaking. Hypothetically speaking, bro. Because I want to be a cop, you know? Yeah. Yeah. What if one day there's a scene where it's like, there's like a blackout and we're like, I think I'm like, making out with Carlos and then the lights come on and it's just you and I'm like, <laughs> hey, yo, hey. <laughs> what the hell, dude? I think you were Nancy. I'm like, oh. I thought you were Nancy, bro. <laughs> You're tall. Yeah. <laughs> oh. You know, Mateo's getting kind of jacked. Like, you know. <laughs> uh. Uh, ooh, do you think TK would ever go back to being a firefighter? Um, I, I think anything's possible for this Anything guy. Anything is possible, I, yeah. I, I, the, I, especially when you when you have the traits of being a firefighter and you could do both. I mean, it wouldn't it wouldn't surprise me. But you know what? The fact that TK was a firefighter and he's EMC now, there, there's sometimes there's rescues where TK might be required to do some firefighter stuff. Not you know just because he doesn't have the uniform on, but he knows how to be a firefighter. You never know, you know. I think our rescue together actually had me step in a bit from a yeah. firefighter's perspective, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Um, but that's the beauty of being a dual FD, baby. Exactly. Um, oh, he, here's something I want to answer because I've seen this popping up. I want to clarify something. People are asking, will you be able to write your own vows for the wedding? Let me just oh. say something. That's a good question. Nobody knows TK better than Tim Minear. Oh, yeah. And I think there is nobody I would rather write those vows than Tim Minear. Um, oh, yeah. TK and Carlos only exist because of Tim. Um, so I wouldn't want to write my own vows, to be honest. Um, I wrote my own vows in real life, but I think for the show, um, Tim is the only person I want writing that. So yeah, I hope that clarifies. Shout out uh, the boss. Boss man. Um, I love you, Julian. Um, that That's somebody wrote that. I wasn't just saying that. Oh, uh, they're telling me. I, 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 love, I, yeah. love you. I love you too. Julian, you're so handsome. Um, you should come over right now. But it's another question. It's another, oh, oh, okay. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. I, thought, I thought you meant like, I thought you were, oh, okay. Yeah, 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 for sure. Yeah. Nah, bro, come on. Yeah. Yeah. Um, let's see. Oh, hello from Peru. Sheesh. Hello. Peru. Ah, I love that Ed Sheeran song. Peru, Peru, para. Peru, okay, we sort of touched on this, but any, any drama for Mansi coming up? Yeah, no, def there's definitely drama for sure. Um, you know, no drama, nothing, never. No, yeah, no, no, yeah. There's definitely drama. Shout out my girl. Shout out my girl Nancy. Dude, I've been scrolling this whole time we've been on, and I'm, I, I'm not even halfway through. Oh my god, dude! Shout out the fans, bro. We've been consistent with like 1,200 people watching this thing. Let's go, dude! Best fans in the world, man. I mean, best fans in the world. Hashtag best fans in the world, baby. Come on. Ooh, will Mateo see more action on the job this season? And will him and Nancy get to work together? So. What do you mean by action? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, like, like coffee? You can get some coffee? Oh, yeah. No, yeah. Well, there, we, a lot uh, of coffee happening. We, off, yeah, off. There's, oh, for sure. Yeah, you, you definitely see uh, Mateo and, and Nancy at work. And it's funny because it's like, you know, what's. 
what, uh, what, what do people think of like, you know, working, you know, working with someone that you're in a relationship with, you know, and I, and I feel like, you know, me and Tim Tail do a good job of like separating, you know, the, the, the private life with, with the work life. But, you know, sometimes, you know, you could throw in a wink at your baby girl if it looks like she's doing something good because Nancy's doing some sick rescues, and I can say Mattel's very proud of her for sure. So there, there are some cool moments with them. Bro, I'd love nothing more than to do a job with, with Jess. Like, I think having your partner um, on the job would be fucking awesome. You know, yeah. and, a lot of, and a lot of, like, actor couples, they, you know, they're always working together for a reason. It's probably, I mean, it's who true. do you trust and, you know, and feel safest with? You know, it's it's sort of that would be a dream. I could see that for sure. Yeah, and then you come in second place. Oh yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, here's a good question. Why was Julian in nine one one and nine one one Lone Star? Yeah, bro, come on. <laughs> I know, right? What the hell? I'm like taking opportunities away from people. Now, you you know what? I gotta say, you know, people always talking about was that. You know, season one. It was just season two. Wow. And uh, sh uh, season two. And uh, shout out all my, my all my actors out there. You know, this is a good a good sign. Uh, you know, me being the example, regardless of how small of a part that you're booking, whether it's a co-star, whether it's a guest star, whether you got no lines, you you go to work and you make an impression and you make people want to work with you you're going to get a call back for something else. And I feel like that sure. was the true, that was the true, you know, definition of it right there. I mean, I went in not expecting anything more than, you know, one guest star episode. And um, no, you probably never even expected there would be a spinoff. Not at all, at all, at all. So um, all my actors out there. So if you get booked for something, I don't care how small it is. You go in there, you go to work and you, you, you do a great job and just, and, and just be grateful. And, you know, you never know what's working behind the doors. You know, this whole time, uh, even when I was finished with that job, had no idea that they were even thinking about me for the spin-off. So, you know, shout out all my actors that are working out there. Regardless of how small the part is, you go in there and, and do a great job. Amen to that, man. That is yes, so sir. true. Yes, sir. I got to praise you for a second because, uh, dude, like, you, you are so prepared. It's I, I talk about, about this with Jess all the time, but, like, I don't know if I've ever seen you mess up a line Thank, thank you, bro, bro. Um, I'm not just I, saying that because you're here. Um, and you said you'd give me a hundred bucks if I said something nice about you on this live. But sorry, sorry. Did you get? Did you get that? Did you get that Venmo? I just said it right now. <laughs> my my lawyer is in the office. Yeah. <laughs> no, thank you so thank you so much, bro. Is the wire, honestly, has the wire come through? What, okay, what's 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 the saying? What's the saying? It's like you you work with with people that are great. It elevates your game. Showing up to work with people like you. And everyone, you know, in the cast, you just got to elevate your game. You just only, you only raise your game, you know, you know, so much higher. So it's like, you know, you, you want greatness, you work with greatness. So that's what it is. Amen. And again, it's like, you know, just being professional, being prepared. It's like really simple things to ask from an actor. And, and you, you do it so beautifully, bro. Yeah. Thank you so much, brother. Um, for whoever might not know this, uh, 18 episodes again this season. Let's uh, go. Tuesday, 8 p.m. Pacific time on Fox. This Tuesday, January 24th. Mm -hmm. Tell everybody. Tell everybody. Tell your mama. Tell your grandma. Tell your daddy. Tell your, your brother. Yeah. Tell your sister. Tell them all. Tell your dogs. Tell your cats. Tell them all. Um... Frog rain. Where does an idea like that stem from? I think that actually happened. Well, I think a lot of our rescues are are from some real story that, re that yes. really happened, right? Yeah. So yeah, yeah, exactly. So I'm pretty sure that happened. Um, but how? Wait, how does that? I mean, I wonder. I would love to read the I article. Think they get like, I think they get like scooped up in the storm and like ah almost pretty much fly away. It's it's really gnarly. Um, yeah. Dude, all the footage this season looks so cool. Dude, it's... they're releasing so much footage, and it looks like you guys are not ready. It's it's really it's a really special season, and I think they're even shooting it more cinematic. I, I was about to say that. that. Shout out, shout out our DP, shout out our cinematographer, shout out like they, yeah. our our crew, 
We have the best. The crew. Best, I mean, we 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 literally we literally give you guys a movie once a week. It's it's that's really what it is. We we giving you guys a movie once a week, and it's it's so great. Yeah, and it's not an easy show to shoot, man. And you no. know, and it's the craziest hours because those guys are there before us and they're there after us. So like, yeah. the man, crews are just everything. There's just so essential, obviously. Um, look, we're we're gonna wrap it up. If, Let's if do anything, it. This was amazing. We had like twelve hundred people consistently. Yeah. Thank you everybody for tuning in. Is there mm -hmm. anything you want to say before we go, Papi, Papi Quanto? Uh, I just want to say, uh, you know what? This season, ex expect expect a lot of great things. Um, Tuesday, we're gonna come in. We're gonna kill it, and um, I can't wait for you guys to watch it. I mean, honestly, I'm I'm so excited for the premiere. Uh, where where? I mean, if we're not working that day we should watch it together i'm i'm working I, I don't have a single day off right now i think i think i'm off tuesday morning i think so yeah but, i work uh, i work this 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 um episode 12 is real big gotcha oh ooh, ooh, ooh. Ooh, okay 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 how about you how about you papa you got anything to say just man just first and foremost just feeling so like beyond if there's a word that's beyond grateful and and um like me and you talk about this a lot and i think that's something that brought us really close like we're very aware of how fortunate and incredible it is to be on a show like this um, yeah especially all throughout covid you know just to be employed but to be on a show that you know almost eight million people watch a week and Damn. um the stories we tell are Important. actually affecting people and mm -hmm. are actually changing people's lives and mm -hmm. actually saving people's lives because mm -hmm. trust me i hear and see almost everything you guys send over um mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and it's just it's just such a beautiful you know place that we're in and i i just i'm so grateful to everybody that's involved and and everybody that watches because those eight million people watching are the fans you know it's not 100 percent. yeah so it's um they have so many other choices of what to watch and they pick our show. You know what I mean? And, exactly. Yeah. And how many times they rewatch it and how many times they, you know, cut up videos and make, you know, fan theories and all this stuff. Like they, they, they're fully invested in our show. And I think like, I know me and you carry that as like a, like a badge of honor and we bring that with us every day to work. And mm -hmm. um, just thank you for everything. And season four, like to be on a show that's, even one season is like incredible, but yeah. four seasons, man. Yeah. Um, and it's a really special one. It it really is special. I think people are gonna know exactly what we're talking about. Um, oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. And that's it. Have a yep. beautiful that's Sunday, it. everybody. Thanks for tuning in. I know everybody here is from all over the world, so thank you for your time. Shout out and, my mommy. And, shout out my dad. Shout out my brother. I love you guys. Yeah. Shout out to the fam. Yes. Shout out to Julian's parents for making him so handsome. <laughs> um and um yeah man have a great sunday poppy thanks for doing this with me yes sir tko's coming in hot and uh i'll see you at work tomorrow you work yeah, tomorrow? I'll see you, yeah i'll see you tomorrow yep i'm there all right bro all right brother peace out get some peace, rest baby yes sir